Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you the full site editing functionality of Breakdance. Breakdance allows you to design every part of your website visually using headers, footers, and templates. You can control the design of your blog posts, your archives, your search results, WooCommerce products in your shop page, 404 pages, any custom post type, custom post type archives, text and in the archives. If you can build it with WordPress, you can design it in Breakdance visually. Now to show you how this works, I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at our website, breakdance.com. So here I am in the WordPress admin panel for breakdance.com. And as you can see, I'm on the header screen of Breakdance, which you can get to by going to the WordPress admin, going to Breakdance, and then going to headers. And here I only have one header set up, but you can create as many headers as you want, and you can apply them to different site areas. So for example, if I want to create a second header that only applies to my member portal, I could create a new header. I'll call this member portal header. Where do I want to apply the header? I'm just going to choose everywhere and then narrow it down with the condition. I'll choose condition. I'm going to choose page is, and then I'm going to choose my member portal page. And this header would only apply to my member portal. If I wanted to get even fancier, I could say page is portal and and I could choose user login status is logged in. Now I would have a header that only applies on my member portal page and only appears for logged in users. And I could create a completely separate header for logged out users. So you can get very custom with this, control everything. Okay, I'm not gonna do that for purposes of this demo. I'm just gonna open up my existing header and show you. So let's go to header and click edit in breakdance. And here is my header in breakdance. I have a header builder, I've got an image, I've got a menu builder inside it. I've created these drop downs visually with breakdance. I've got my account and call to action button. I've got a little top bar. Check out our video on menu and header builder to learn more about how to do completely custom headers. Okay, let's go back to the WordPress admin panel and take a look at my footer. So to get to footers, you go to breakdance and then footers. And let's open up this footer in breakdance. So I'll just click edit in breakdance. As you can see here, I have a simple four column footer. I've just created that with a columns element in Breakdance, some links here for my post list. I'm using the post list element to display my recent posts. All pretty standard stuff, very easy to do in Breakdance. Now let's get more advanced and take a look at templates. So I'll go back to the WordPress admin and I have a custom post type on this website called documentation. This is where we store our documentation articles. We have some documentation on the developer APIs, getting started guide, installing breakdance, etc. And we want to create a template that controls the design of every single documentation article at one time. Well, how do we do that? We do that at breakdance templates. Here, I have a template called documentation article. I also have one for my 404 page and my single post. To add new templates, I could just click add template and I can choose from the preset templates or I could add a completely custom template. Let's take a look at the documentation article template. So first I will look at its settings. Let's click continue and here are the settings. The title is documentation article and the location is single documentation. This means it will apply to all single documentation articles. Now I could add conditions to this template if I want to narrow it down further. For example, maybe I only want it to apply to certain documentation articles. For example, I could check the box here. Maybe I only want it to apply to documentation articles that have a parent of a certain article. Maybe I only want to show this template to logged in users. Maybe I will only want to use this template if the author is a certain author on the website. But let's leave the settings as they were and open up the template in Breakdance. So here I am inside of Breakdance and I can preview the different articles on my site by just choosing a different article from the preview dropdown. That allows me to quickly see everything this template applies to. And you can see how I built it. I have a heading element too. I've linked that heading element dynamically to the post title. So for example, I might just start off with a heading and then I'll click the dynamic data icon and I can choose post title. This is the title of the article. So for the security article, the title is security. If I go to another article like installing breakdance, the title will be installing breakdance. For the content, I've added this rich text element. I've linked it to the post content. 
And then I've created a global block here that shows my documentation navigation, which I could edit separately. One of the key benefits of Breakdance is the ability to use it without a theme. Here I am at Breakdance, Settings, Theme in the WordPress admin, and you'll see that under WordPress Theme System, I've chosen Disable Theme. This allows me to design every part of the website with Breakdance with no interference or bloat from the theme. This gives me the best performance and maximum flexibility. If I wanted to use Breakdance with a theme, I could. I would just choose Keep Theme and then my themes header, footer, and templates would be used unless I explicitly overrode them with Breakdance. You'll know the theme is disabled when you go to the Appearance Themes page, and you'll see all of your themes uh, grayed out, and you'll see a message saying, you disabled the WordPress theme system entirely, the active theme will be never loaded, and has no impact on your site's performance. Okay, that is a quick overview of full site editing and breakdance. You can build every part of your website visually and you have full control of all parts of your site. This is Lewis from Breakdance and thank you very much for watching.